These young people are being celebrated at a fundraiser for Safe Passage, a project to provide children in immigration court with volunteer attorneys. Lenny Benson is the project's founder. Last month, there was a three-year-old sitting in the deportation chair. You have a government prosecutor, you have a judge on the bench, and you have a child sitting with a translator, and in this case, a grandmother. And if the Safe Passage Project were not there, there would be no one standing up for that three-year-old or helping that grandmother navigate the court system. Benson, a professor at New York Law School, spends at least one day a month in New York Immigration Court, and often many more matching volunteer attorneys with child migrants. Most of the young people we've met, there's a reason they don't want to go home, and that has been um, not just dire poverty, but real danger in their communities. She says that while U.S. immigration law grants children special legal protections, it does not provide them lawyers to help secure those rights. Ishik Basarir arrived from Turkey at age 15 and found safe passage only after a confusing search. My sister obtained a green card, like, I guess, a couple of years after I got here, and but she didn't have her citizenship back then, so she wasn't able to sponsor me or anything. But we did, like, go to private lawyers to talk to them. Like, you know, we asked them, like, if, you know, there's anything we could do. But they always said no, and I said, like, there's no way. Life is good over here, and soccer is good, too. Sixteen-year-old Usman Berry came from Guinea at age eight. His parents are dead, and he lives with an uncle. Safe Passage lawyers won him legal residency, too. And it means a lot because now I could, like, travel out and inside the country, like, and I could come back and go. So, like, I want to visit my country. I could go there and then come back. Barry is one of a lucky few. Safe Passage and similar projects can help only a handful of all those in need as the numbers of unaccompanied child migrants surge. This year alone, the federal government predicts that more than 60,000 teens and children, most of them from Central America, will be apprehended at the U.S.-Mexican border. Carolyn Weaver, VOA News, New York.